So it's the second street after the railroad tracks. You're going to make a left. It's Regency. So first we talk to a charge nurse who gives us a bed assignment. We get the patient registered. They're in the hospital's computer system. They triage the patient to see how severe they are, and then they follow that up with uh, giving us a bed assignment. Mm -hmm. And the ambulance, um, while you were um, took the patient inside with the stretcher, the ambulance has been sitting outside by the curb of the hospital for like 25 minutes. And but sometimes you see ambulances wait longer than that. How long have you seen ambulances wait outside the hospital? Six hours, probably. Six hours. So that's kind of an extenuating circumstance. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily that one patient because other crews will come in after I come in to try to get the crews back out on the road. We try to double up. Um, mm -hmm. If the hospital has beds in the back, we can put the patients on them. Um, if the patient needs to be on the monitor or is combative or something, then maybe I can't take that patient because I only have the one monitor. Mm -hmm. But when it's a we can. We'll put people in wheelchairs or a chair or the hospital stretcher, and um, we can double up and take other people's bed right. So my six hours might have been me holding 12 patients, getting ping pong back. So then as soon as I get down to one patient, more crews come in, and we all kind of trade mm -hmm. off after a while. Nobody wants to sit on bed like for six right. hours. So, you know, but but, but that sure is one, one issue of, of the ambulance system is Definitely. having these bed ambulances are now are, are kind of tied up and can't can't respond to the calls or off the street. Correct. Our hands are kind of tied. We mm -hmm. can't, you know, leave people at back doors with no patient care. We're bringing them to the hospital because they have a problem. And when the hospitals are full, it might be an ER problem or farther upstairs if, you know, somebody needs to be admitted. They can't be admitted because all of those are full, so then it's just a holding cells down in the ER department, and now we don't have beds because they don't have beds. 